Now to Lonnie. He's got more on Harvey and also how it may affect our weekend. You bet. I think we're going to be seeing some rain by the time you get to Saturday or Sunday. Uh, take a look at your temperatures outside as of right now. All right, we've had a beautiful day. It's beautiful outside currently. A nice clear sky. It's 70 degrees in the city. You have some 50s out there. 57 for Monticello, 58 for Sparta. It's going to get real chilly by the time we get to, say, Friday morning. Let's talk about everything here. Because Harvey is now a tropical depression. All right, it's, it's lost a lot of strength. It's still putting some rain down, but it's moving in the right direction as far as weakening. It's going to continue to dissipate. It'll get picked up by the jet stream, get torn apart a bit, but could blow some of the rain into our area uh, for portions of your weekend. Got to talk about Irma. Irma, tropical storm right now, getting stronger. It's gotten stronger so quickly. It's a 65 mile per hour storm. I think it's going to become a hurricane tomorrow. October like Friday weather is waiting for us. I'm talking sunshine, but temperatures for some of you not getting out of the 60s, but then summer heat comes right back by the time we get into next week. Let's take a peek at what those temperatures will be doing by Friday morning. This is that fall like air I'm talking about. Look at this. It's possible we could see some 30s out there to start our day on Friday morning. Uh, this is showing 40 for Liberty, 53 New York City. It's going to be a crisp, cool day on Friday with sunshine. That's just not going to warm you up too, too much. All right, our skies look beautiful. Here's the front that's going to be bringing in that fall like air. Now, you will notice there's some rain associated with it. I don't think we're going to pick up too much. I think a lot of this is going to dissipate, but not all of it. So I will put in about a 20% chance for a shower, even a rumble of thunder tomorrow. Uh, but for the most part, the bigger story is going to be the cooler air on the back side of it. Tomorrow is actually going to be pretty warm day. This is the warm sector of the storm. Then the front comes through kind of uneventfully, but the colder air sets up. Here is Harvey. Again, now a tropical depression. Uh, it's moving, okay, still moving slowly in the grand scheme of things, but faster than it was before. It started pushed up to the east, northeast. It's going to continue. The jet will pick it up. And when that happens, uh, watch this. Interesting where the whole map now starts. It stops uh, around Kentucky. Well, because at this point in time, it looks as if it's lost all of its definition and the Hurricane Center is con discontinuing its, uh, its following of that system. So we'll watch it. This is Irma. I wanted to show you where Irma is going to go. It will be going. It's got 65 mile per hour winds. And watch this. Moves across the Atlantic, strengthening now, we think, to a major hurricane. Remember, a major hurricane is a three, four, or five. We think you could be dealing with a three by Monday, still east of the islands. So we've got to keep an eye on that to see if it's going to go north from that point or south, continue to the west. But uh, another. <laughs> Man, it is, it is that time of year, though. This is when you really start ramping up the tropical situations, and obviously that's what mm -hmm. we are doing. And the most active time for the, the, the tropics is really right around September 3rd to about September 13th. Approaching it. Thank you, Lonnie.